Good morning, Virgo. Happy Saturday. This is an ongoing series that I've just started uh, started doing. Uh, messages for your past one loved ones. A lot of you have um, initials in the comments. I have initials in here. I have uh, ages of people. Um, I have birth months, different things like that. Death months. Take it how it resonates with you. Okay, so we're going to get started. Thank you all so much. Keep on putting those initials in the uh, comment section, okay? Why? Initial Y comes out an awful lot. What other initials do we have? Our birthday. Birth month. Death month. A. A. And Y. What other initial wants to come out? And what your message is going to be about. We got May. We got May. So we got A and Y already. May. Maybe that alone resonates with you. Okay. It'd be crazy if I pull M. <laughs> maybe they call you Yam or Yammy. Or Jammy. 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 I got two. So I have birthday. You, this person was either 13 to 19 years old when they passed away. Um... There's the why. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. So we have the month of May. Maybe that was their name, May. Could have even been M A E. Okay, middle name. My mother's name was M A E, middle name. May. This could just be a pure coincidental. This is your birthday. Maybe you have more than one person. Or, I'm sorry, their birthday. Maybe you have more than one person who have, has these initials. Or, your name could be Amy. It could be May. Yeah, I'm like I said earlier. Not only do we have M-A-Y, we also have month of May. Okay, May, M-A-Y. And 13 to 19 years of age is when this person passed away. Okay. okay. Now, let's get to the gist of your reading. Let me sip some coffee. All right, what's your message today? So you guys need to feel us a message for this person whose initials are M-A-Y. M-A-Y. I always give you a good night kiss. I always give you a good night kiss. I hear two songs. I hear um, Making Love in the Rain. Janet Jackson. That's the song I'm hearing. I'm hearing also Like Thunder. Like Thunder. Oh, I'm hearing um, Thunder and Lightning, Knock on Wood by Michael Bolton. So I'm hearing um, Making Love in the Rain. Maybe they loved rain. Maybe they did something outside. Maybe they worked a job in the rain. I'm hearing Making Love in the Rain by Janet Jackson and Knock, Knock, Knock on Wood by Michael Bowden. I'll put both of those songs in the comment section. There's no such thing as death. There's just another soul around you, Virgo. Okay, another soul. So what are their messages for you here? Something about the rain, though. Hold on. They maybe they love rock music. Oh, maybe they knock on wood to get your attention, Virgo. Okay, let's move on. What's your message today? They're with you in spirit. Okay. They are always with you in spirit, Virgo. Maybe this person was a drinker. Okay. Maybe they were a drinker. 13 to 19 it doesn't necessarily have to be it could be the day of the month that the, that they passed away anywhere between May 13th and 19th they could have been 13 or 19 years old or something else though too or maybe they died 13 to 19 years ago so take that how it resonates with you okay guys what's, what's what's up with May 
I have May here three times, literally. What is going on with May, May, May? Wow, that never happens. We got who? Who could this be? Had some mobility issues, this person. Could have been, they could have had, could have been born with maybe scoliosis, but also something dealing with um, I don't know what you call it. Um, when you uh, some sort of, of of they were born with some kind of illness that that someone had to take care of, like like they were a special needs child, or they were in a special needs family. I'm hearing something. But is it cerebral palsy? Up something like that is what I'm hearing. It could have been something along, along those lines. Okay, to where they had mobility issues. They could have been hit by a drunk driver in May, okay, Mayday, Mayday, maybe they had a, maybe they were in a plane crash or something, or, you know, something with fast driving, spouse, or spouse, maybe he, he was a drink, a drunk driver, and, and he's with you in spirit, something about May, I keep getting May, and, or these could be your initials as well as both of y'all have the same exact initials, maybe you got married in May because your initials all are alike, okay, Maybe you, all of the people in your family have the same initials, okay? Whether it's May, whether it's E N G, whether it's T C or R E E E, whatever, you all have the same initials throughout your family, okay? I feel like he comes to you in spirit. He possibly passed away of, of a drunk driving, or he could have passed away from an accident due to a drunk driver. Uh, complications from a drunk driver due to his already lengthy illness, okay? So this could be a spouse. Doesn't have to be, but you only you know how this resonates with you. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, I, that's un, I, that's understandable. I will do another one today. I have a a, lot, a reading to do for someone today over the phone at noon, so I'll come back after and do maybe two more of these readings, and we'll just go from there. Okay. Works. True. He sees that you're working. Whoever this is, you found a job. Or maybe you felt asked him for her or whoever's on the other side to give you some um, to give you a job to help you get a job and you finally got one and you needed a sign to let them know or him know on the other side that you found a job. I found a job, that's true. They know that. So something dealing with Maggie. And they know you're depressed. I know that you're depressed. Okay, let's see. Let's get some final messages for you. I try not to keep you too long with these readings, but sometimes time gets away with me. Let's go. Could have been a felon. Or hurt by a felon. Someone here became, forget became forgetful. Or maybe you're becoming forgetful a lot, you know. I just talked to my friend last night. I started taking some Prevagen to see if that, that get my memory. Because I have fibromyalgia. My mind is always forgetting something. Maybe this person was very, very forgetful. Maybe they had, I say diarrhea. Maybe they had, um, what do you call it? Dementia or something like that. Diarrhea of the mouth. They couldn't hold water. Anything you told them, they told to somebody else. Okay. Never knew how to keep a secret. Love to travel. They love to travel, they're coming to, to apologize to you for whatever it is they done. Whatever it is they done, they never got to apologize to. They, maybe they, they never got a chance to explain, ex, to, I'm hearing explanation. They never got a chance to. And when they had an accident, they possibly forgot what, what they did. Okay. They're, it's like their mind just travels. And you never did get the right, um, the right, the truth out of this person. What, what you thought was the truth. They just literally, literally forgot. They couldn't. Possibly lost their memory. On some aspect, we got seven months. What's the seven months here for you? Winter. Okay. Blessings and finances it may take you a little bit longer to get here. Maybe you're already here. Maybe this is a seventh month. Winter is almost over. Blessings and finances are coming your way. Okay. If you've been struggling. Maybe you want to travel and can't afford to. Maybe they're saying within seven months you're going to start traveling. 
And I want you to travel. I want you to forget about everything that's bothering you. I want you to forget about, forget about what's worrying you. Forget about me for a couple of days. Go out and celebrate your life. Have fun. Something about going to, I'm here in China, but I'm also hearing something. I don't leave China alone. I'm not going to China. Paris, the gay Paris or something like that. Just have a nice trip. Somebody was aggressive. <clears throat> this guy, this felon. Could be a woman though. Doesn't have to be a gotta be a felon. Let me get a felon I'm faster. Money. Ooh, aggressive with money. Okay. Um we're gonna get back to here. So aggressive with money, possibly rub rob some money, rub somebody the wrong way and they took them out or, or somebody took them out, take it how it resonates, you know. But it was definitely doing something with money. And they're telling me I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I shouldn't have done that. I went out of town and did the, the the thing that I did to get me locked up, to you know, to get me, you know, six feet under or whatever you want to call it. And I lied to you. I told you I was going snorkeling. I told you I was going skeet shooting. I told you I was going fishing. I told you I was going hunting. But I went out there to actually rob somebody. Okay. And it could have been that's why they became a felon, because they they lied. You know, that's first experienced the dark night of the soul because of their impulsives impulsivities or whatever it was they were doing with their life the things that they know that they were doing were not right i just saw one 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 okay they were very impulsive they didn't want to listen they were very hot-headed and hard-headed okay but they definitely have a lot to apologize i keep saying may i don't know how a how may resonates this number 13 through 19 could resonate with you in so many different ways okay now, this is the last message for you virgo I and mean, i'm gonna close you out 11 11 March. We're almost toward the end of March here. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's the final message from him to you, her to you. Making love in the rain. I can't believe Charlie brings me. See, Autumn. We gotta do something. You know, don't just, you know, it's, it's cold where you are. Uh, seasons are about to change. Actually, I think the 21st was the first day of autumn. I think 10 or not, whatever. I don't remember what time they said the, the equinox is in. But anyway, do something. You know, this is the autumn of your life. This is the time for you to enjoy your life. Have fun. Okay. Stop being so, so stop being so, um, inclusive by yourself in your home. Shut in, shut down, closed out. You know, you're, you're literally hibernating and you're still walking around. You get that? Okay, we got autumn. We got get yourself out there. You're still in, 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 in a youthful life form. You just don't realize it. You still have that zest about you. Go out there and have fun. Go out there and do something. Okay. You doubt yourself. You doubt that you can forgive anybody who hurt you, Virgo. How can you possibly forgive somebody who did you dog dirty? It's possible. Alcohol much, Virgo? You know you're not supposed to be you Somebody could be picking up on nasty alcoholic habits. You need to stop. Are they telling you, or you say, well, I don't like alcohol. It's nasty. You, you stayed in the past, but now you're picking up more and more and more and drinking more and more and more just to soothe yourself, just to calm yourself down. Don't do that. They don't want you to turn into an alcoholic like they were, an addict like they were, okay? You got talk. You don't want to talk. You don't. Want to, you want to stay closed off. You don't want to talk about talk about this to anybody. I got. Don't do it. Okay. So we got talk. Should nope. Don't do it. There's somebody who wants to talk to you. They want to plead their case to you, and they're seeing from the other side. Don't talk to this person. You're, just don't. You don't have anything for this person to hear. There's nothing that this person can say to make you change your mind for dumping that ass, for walking out of their lives because they treated you so dog dirty. Whoever it was on the was ever on the other side is telling you. Leave that person alone. Don't do it. Okay. And this person who passed away, you all had a rocky relationship. You don't want to talk to this person. You didn't want to deal with this person. You don't want to hear anything that this person had to say. But they passed away. And you regret it. Hold on. What do you want to say to them not talking to you and having their regrets? What do you want to say? Believe in yourself. You can do this. Believe in yourself. You can do this. They don't want you to hold on to any regrets. They don't want you to do that. They want you to live your life. 
I send you loving signs through nature. And he or she is telling you, I didn't make the best choices in my life. But I want you to make the better choices for you, for your life. Don't get stuck in any bad, unhealthy habits for yourself. Live your life. Be free. You know, be free. Do you. Do you. Remember the happy uh, moments we create. We have fun together. We have fun together. Remember those times. But don't hold on, on to any guilt as to what we didn't do, what we couldn't do, what we should not have done. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to think about our last conversation or the last thing I could have said to you, but you wouldn't listen or vice versa. Okay. All right. I have color. Okay, these two cards came out together. That kind of makes sense. Rainbow. Maybe this person who's passed away is of this community here. And they're saying that you are my beautiful rainbow tribe. And I love you so very much. You fought You fought for me. You stood up for me when you didn't have to. When you were scared and shaking in your jeans. Shaking in your britches. You were there for me. And thank you so much. This person was a very colorful person. Okay, I'm being led to pull another card from this deck. There could be another age group out of here. And Q at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it could be the part of the LGBTQIA. I hope I'm saying that right, you all. If I'm not, charge it to the head and not the heart. Okay, let's get it one more initial or one more message from this deck here. See what else wants to come out, and then I'm going to close you all out. Yeah, keep rolling, keep rolling. Got to find a good way to shuffle these cards. Let's see. We have age group 20 to 30, okay? They could have the letter D in their uh, initials. 20 and 20 to 30, that could be the 20 through the 30th. That's a week they could have passed away. That could be 20 years, 30 years. That could be their age, your age, whatever. Letter D as well, okay? What is this person's message? Do you, Virgo? Mm -hmm. They like to dance. They like to let's dance. Let's shout. Shake your body down to the ground. Let's dance. Let's shout. He loved to dance. She loved to dance. Uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the word. There's a word that they they that you all do. What is it? Um, it was in the show post. I don't know what you call those. What do you call it? I'll think about it. It's name. Have I called their name out? lead um, okay I had to look that up it's Vogue somebody loved to, to Vogue and it was a beautiful dance this person loved it very colorful dressed up in a lot of radiant beautiful colors and they didn't give a F what people thought about them because they were always going to be themselves and I just heard the name Shay okay Shay that's three. What are we going to keep these? I have believe. They've touched you. Okay. They've touched you. And and if something happened to you when you were younger, this is the only person that be, believed that you were abused. Or you are the only person abused. You are the only person believed that they were abused. A little list count. This energy came out in the reading I did a couple of days ago. All right. And if this person is on the other side, you feel them so much that they actually touch you. Because sometimes you just need to be touched. Not in that way to believe that they are around you. It's like they touch you for a reason. Because you act like you don't believe that you feel them. And they say, you're going to believe my touch today. Okay. And that they're, I don't know if somebody changed their name. Or they were always the leader. You, you all, He or she named the dance group or the band that you were in or whatever. Something that this person, they were the leader. The leader of the pack. Okay. But this person, you should feel their energy. They're letting you know I'm around you. I'm around you. I'm around you, Virgo. I'm around you. Okay, let's get a couple of more. And like I said, I got a, a phone reading to do. I'm actually want to try to go live tomorrow, um, but that live will be a paid reading. Um, it is. It's, if you want me to answer a question, of course you've not. I've done free lives before, like like ninety percent of the time. But I want to try to do a reading tomorrow. Um, maybe five dollars a question if you have. So we'll do that, me and I release and a couple of others. Maybe I can get um, I can't even think of y'all names. Trying to get these readings done and 
everything else. Maybe I can get got the mission. Where are you going in your life, Virgo? We got Jeff who can hopefully uh, navigate tomorrow for us. No, I believe maybe LC tomorrow. Maybe Jennifer. I haven't seen Jennifer in a minute, but I'm going to pull a couple of more than one in this reading. We got within eight months. Very articulate and smart. Maybe you're going to meet somebody who is very articulate and smart. Or this is you being articulate, being smart, not a smart ass. Okay. Uh, and not smug is what I just heard. Take the job. Joy, joy is coming into your life. You're going to have more income within the next eight months. Then it, what? Yes, you're going to have more income in the next eight months. I'm hearing what? Yes, yes. Nothing, yes. Change that attitude. Think, the, think about attitude equals gratitude. It's all about your attitude. It's all about how you're living today. It's all about where you're wanting to go tomorrow. It's, it's all about you questioning your MF and mission. What's my mission? What am I here to do, God? You're here to do work for God, work for spirit, whoever it is you believe in, or be it for me to change your head, to change your thought process. But you got to do something. You're getting touched by spirit in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this energy, you're gonna start be you're gonna be feeling so much better. And whoever this person is here, tell him or her to leave me alone. They're very, very flouncy, bouncy all over the place. You know, um, some maybe they make dolls, you know, and sell dolls or something like that. They definitely they definitely are into tarot. They're definitely into possibly using a Ouija board or something like that. This person is all over the place. Do they ever shut the hell up? Do they ever sit their asses down? Hop, hop, see, hop, see. They hop all over the place. They just love to have fun. And they want you to continue to live your life. Live your life. Have fun. Okay. Slam it. <laughs> Slam it. You know. You feel their touch. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing too. Okay. I'm hearing. Uh, hold on. This is this not a microphone. Hold on. Oh, woman in love. I put. Oh. Yeah, I, I can feel. Okay, it's, it's a Michael Bolton song called A Woman's Love. I'll put that in the, in the comments. Hold on. Is that what it is, y'all? Yep. A Woman in Love. That's it. Your touch, I can feel it. The feeling of a woman in love. No. Maybe this person was a Michael. Maybe they loved Michael Bowen, but they prayer. They were a prayer warrior. They were a prayer warrior. And this person was very, very hot, very, very sexy, but fiery hot. Maybe this person was a Leo Aries or Sagittarius. And this was your friend. They prayed down. It was something about what you two did together. Maybe you had it within you to say, you know what? You need to slow your ass down. You need to slow it down, brother, sister, friend, cousin, whatever. Excuse me person could have had asthma too could have choked on something um but yeah i feel like well, at some point this person got depressed you just you just, maybe you just didn't know why all right and you know i do feel that too this person possibly got to the point to where they started using illegal drugs it was something too about the month the month of november see i want to stop but shit keep coming out secrets that you don't know about need to come out but driving you know with drugs uh, inebriated a little bit or something like that as well children were involved as well you know there were secrets around something happened with children that they they happened to the both of you people didn't open their mouths about it and i feel like this person was um tormented by possibly by bullies you know and and separated by a relationship that was over october had something to do with it too okay but they were very kind okay they were very kind and possibly ended up meeting a possessive lover Okay, but y'all were best friends. Okay, but I also feel like this is what I was thinking too earlier about this person. This is possibly what happened to that person. Okay, but take it how it resonates, Virgo. I'm going to close this out. And I kind of like these. If you all want to see more of these readings, let me know. I will do them. I may even try to do one during our live tomorrow if I can get I believe. And uh, Jeff aboard if they don't have anything to do. So we will um, we'll just go from there. But thank you all for this reading. Um, I hope it resonates. And I will be doing this more often. Like I said. 
And two, just know that I am open for personal readings. It can go a lot deeper than this in your personal readings. All right? Talk to you later.